Welcome back to Booze and Rocks. My name is David Edwards. And you know what? Today I'm going to ask you an age old question How many candy canes does it take to make a candy cane martini? Let's find out. Alright, it's great to have every single one of you back here. I am making a candy cane martini. And you know why? I am part of the Christmas Martini 2020 challenge. What is this challenge, you ask? Well, let me fill you in. The Christmas Martini Challenge was put together by Rob's Home Bar and 60 Second Cocktails. And they put a list together of a whole bunch of cocktail channels and said, hey guys, gals, let's put together a whole bunch of Christmas martinis. Everybody put one out. And the winner of this actually works out to being you, the viewer, because you get so many different recipes and you get to try so many different things. And you know what? That is pretty cool because we have such an awesome community here and we really do appreciate you, the viewer. So now that I'm done babbling like a madman, I'm going to put together this martini and I'm doing the finger waving because my brain just died. However, I figured out what I have to do. Grab your shaking glass. And while I'm grabbing my tag number five vodka, which I'm using, I'm going to explain something really interesting to you. After I do that, and not even a very good cork sound to boot, my daughter wouldn't let me show my intro. She thought it was way too aggressive for a Christmas type video. And I said, well, you know what? Uh, maybe it is, but I'm gonna put it in the outtakes for you. So please stick around and make sure you take a look at it. So we need two ounces or 60 milliliters of the vodka of your choice. Now, tag number five vodka is a local vodka to me, which is really great. I love shopping local whenever I can do that. It's perfect. The next thing you need is a white creme de menthe. Now I have a uh, McGinnis creme de menthe here, which I normally don't use white creme de menthe, but for this cocktail, I'm doing that. Now I do have a green, but I don't want it to fiddle with the color. So we'll go nice and clear. For this, we need one ounce or 30 milliliters. Ooh, -hoo. and it does smell good. Next, you need a little bit of Chambord. Now, Chambord is a blackberry, let me be more specific. It's a black raspberry liqueur. Now you could use uh, your own red liqueur that you weren't, but I recommend this one for this. And for this, we'll use half an ounce. Half an ounce works out to 15 milliliters. Ooh, look at that. Next, we need a little bit of simple syrup. Now, this is a one-to-one -one simple syrup. It's one part water, one part sugar, warm it up till it goes clear. We need half an ounce, that works out to seven and a half mils. Yeah, it's looking good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make this cold, ice cold. In fact, it's going to be so cold, it's gonna be North Pole cold. And where the heck is my scoop? Oh, well, doesn't matter. This is my drink and it's, if you're at home and it's your drink, you know what? You can use your hands. Give it a bit of a slam, give it a shake, and you're gonna shake this till it's cold for about 10 to 15 seconds. All right, so you wanna shake that till she's nice and frosty, like Frosty the Snowman's wife. And if you uh, happen to get anything on your hands, wipe that off and, oh, it smells really good. Grab your martini glass of choice. And you know what? Grab a plate because we need to rim the glass. Take some of your simple syrup, just kind of pour it here nicely on the glass. Try not to use too much. And we're just gonna take it and spin it so we have a nice sugar wet rim. Now you'd think, why is David doing this and adding little droplets to make it look so good? Yes, I'm making it sugary all over the place. So you're going to take that, grab another plate, and grab your candy cane. And then through the magic of TV and Christmas, and there you go. You now have totally blown up uh, candy cane. So take your glass. You wanna grab the rim, and you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna just sprinkle this over here slightly, 
give this our, a nice little sprinkle. I'm getting candy cane goodness all over the place. Now that mm, is pretty, oh, candy cane. Mm. Mm. You just can't go wrong. Mm. Mm -mm. Clean your hands off. Grab your Hawthorne strainer. You know what, we'll fine strain this because we don't want this to be cloudy. Like so, and here we go. Look at that. And you know what? That's not quite enough candy cane for us. Give this a, a bit of a, a pull, pull off your, my candy cane broke. <sighs> candy cane, oh, and I just broke another one. You know what? Why are my candy canes being like this? I know it's Christmas and all. I have another one left. I have lots of candy canes. And I can't get this open, gosh darn it. So you can garnish this any way you want. However, I recommend a full candy cane. What do you think? I think that's very pretty. Smells really good. You immediately get the smell of the mint from the candy cane and that just that sweetness. Oh, that has got some nice minty goodness. Mm. Oh yeah, candy cane, yeah. Mm. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh yeah. Mm. You can't go wrong with that. Oh, it tastes so good. The mint, the, the chambord, mm. a candy fiend for your confection. Oh, you know what? Give this a thumbs up. If you're a huge fan of Christmas martinis, that's awesome. If this is your first time to my channel, please check the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time you put up a notif, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. The candy cane's already gotten to me, as you can tell. And we'll see you next time. Both put out a challenge to a whole bunch of different cocktail channels. And they wanted as many, oh shit, you, the viewer, get to have a heck of a, a heck of, oh no, look, it's Christmas. Everything is nice. We'll get to spend time on the Christmas tree and the kids will love us and treat us nicely. No, I won't. <laughs>